Welcome back! Today we're checking out my collection of Jurassic World Dominion figures, including these brand new ones that I'm gonna open up in this video. First up is the Roar Strikers Iguanodon. So here is the unboxed Iguanodon. I think this might be the first Iguanodon in my collection, actually. It's got a light tan body with the dark brown on top and the tan striping. It's got the barcode scanner right along the top and you can move its front legs around and its back legs. Plus, there is an action button that when you press down on the body, it roars and dips its head down too. Next up, we've got the Mega Raptor from the Roar Strikers series. As you already know, the Mega Raptor is related to the Velociraptor, but it's got some differences. This figure has feathers all over its body. You can see some on its arms, on the top of its back, on the top of its head, and at the end of the tail as well. This figure is bright red in the back and a dark blue gray in the front. Plus, it has some detailing on the face as well. And this figure comes with an action that when you press down on the body, it chomps and roars. Next up, we've got a dual pack. This is the Sound Surge, Tyrannosaurus Rex, and Giganotosaurus set. All right, here they are. Let's check out the Giganotosaurus first. This Giganotosaurus has the typical dark green and black coloring, typical for the Jurassic World figures and it's pretty adjustable. You can move the tail, you can move the arms and the legs. So it is pretty adjustable. I will note that the mouth is actually not colored at all. So it is just green, just like the rest of the body. But the coolest feature of these figures are the roaring sound effects. Let's check that out. That is pretty cool. I bet that roar is from the movie. Now let's check out the Tyrannosaurus Rex. This figure has the tan brown coloring with the black detailing that we see in many of the T-Rex figures. You can open and close the mouth, but as you notice, the mouth is not colored differently than the rest of the face. And you can move the arms and the legs and the tail just like the Giganotosaurus. So now let's check out the T-Rex sound effects that this comes with. I really like how this comes in a two pack too. And they're both the same size, smaller than most of the T-Rex figures, but still a good size. <laughs> Next up, we've got a super colossal Atrociraptor. This figure has the light gray body with the brown and lighter brown detailing on its back and sides. It's got some huge claws on its hand, just like the super colossal Velociraptor figures. And on its face, it has a full set of teeth all the way around. It's got those orange eyes. And just like all the other super colossal figures, you can feed it miniature dinosaurs and empty it out in its stomach. Next up of these super colossal figures is the T-Rex. This figure is dark brown on the sides, black on the top, and has the light underbelly like many dinosaurs. It is fully adjustable like the other super colossal figures. It's got the yellow eyes and a huge set of teeth. And of course, this super colossal T-Rex can eat miniature dinosaurs as well that you can empty out in the stomach compartment. And finally, of the super colossal figures is the Giganotosaurus. Just like we saw in the smaller Giganotosaurus, it has the dark green sides. However, this one has more detailing along the top. I think it has some bigger spines and it has a light underbelly too. You can move the wrists, you can move the arms, the legs, the tail, and of course you can open up the Giganotosaurus's mouth really wide to eat those miniature dinosaurs too. And this figure actually has some bright golden eyes, which I think is really cool. Next up, we've got the Hammond Collection Tyrannosaurus Rex. This figure is the most adjustable Tyrannosaurus Rex that I have. You can twist the torso around, can move all the joints in its arms, in its legs. It actually has two joints in its tail as well, which is pretty cool. And it has tons of detail on its face too. It's got some super realistic details in its mouth, like the tongue and the flap on the side. It's got these dark yellow teeth and it's got those marble yellow eyes too. 
Here, we've got the Thrash and Devour T-Rex. This T-Rex, just like the Super Colossal figure, is dark brown on the sides, it has the black on the top, and the light underbelly too. I will note that this figure's head is proportionally larger than the rest of its body compared to the other T-Rex figures that I have, which is an interesting detail. And it has the tail that controls the head and a button for roaring too. This is the Ocean Protector Mosasaurus. Unlike the older Mosasaurus figure, this has a dark blue body with white speckles all over its top. It's got the light blue eyes, the huge jaw, and you can adjust the fins and actually move the tail in this one. Next up is the Sound Slashing Thrizinosaurus. This dinosaur was one of the stars of the new Jurassic World Dominion movie. And this figure is actually pretty controllable too. You can use the tail to swing the head around and the torso. And there's a button on the tail for the chomping as well. And you know, I think this might be my favorite dinosaur from the new Jurassic World movie. Comment down below what your favorite dinosaur was from the new Jurassic World Dominion movie. This is the Roar Strikers Ankylosaurus. It has the clay red bottom and the brown and tan top. This figure is pretty adjustable as well. You can twist its head around, you can move its legs, and it has an action button that when you press down on the body, it swings its tail around. This big figure is the Yangchuanosaurus. It has a soft green colored body with the lighter underbelly and the brown detailing along the top, plus this orange detail right on the top of its head. You can move the arms on this figure and the legs, and the tail actually controls the torso and the head, so you can move it and make it look really lifelike. This is the Rowdy Roars Atrociraptor, and this figure has two features. First is when you press this button on the top, you get some sound effects, and the second is when you touch its chin, it'll actually walk around. Next up, we have a mysterious dino cage, but what could be inside of it? Let's see. All right, it's an Atrociraptor, and you can actually control it from the back too. This figure is a light gray color with the brown detailing over its body and is pretty adjustable too. You can move all the different limbs, you can open and close the jaw, and even twist the neck around. Next up is the Rachasaurus with the brown coloring on its side and bottom, and it's got the gray blue coloring right along the top of its back, as well as that single horn right on the top of its head. Plus, this figure comes with an action that when you press down on its body, it chomps and roars. This next one is the massive action Ampelosaurus. Just like the Carnotaurus, it has the clay red body with the brown detailing along the top, and it's got this super long neck that you can actually control by moving the tail around. Here, we've got the Rowdy Roars Dilophosaurus. It's got the iconic frills on the sides and the top, and just like the other Rowdy Roars figure that I have, it has two action buttons. First is when you press the button on top of its head. And the second is when you touch its chin. It can walk around. Next up is the Hammond Collection Baryonyx. This figure is super adjustable in all its limbs. It has some pretty cool coloring, pretty similar to the other Baryonyx figures especially with that blue detailing right underneath its eye. So this figure is super easy to pose on the shelf. I really like that. <laughs> this is the Pachycephalosaurus, actually from the Legacy Collection. It's got the gray body with a little bit of brown detailing on the bottom and a bunch of blue along the top. It's got the DNA barcode scanner right along its shoulder, and you can use the tail for the headbutting action. <laughs> This is the Carnotaurus from the Jurassic World Dominion movie. It's got the green body with the orange detailing along the top, and it's pretty adjustable too. You can move its neck, open its jaw, you can move its legs and arms, and even twist the tail too. Here is the huge winged dinosaur that I'm sure you recognize from the new Jurassic World Dominion movie. This is the Quetzalcoatlus. It's got these soft blue-gray coloring along its body. It's got the brown wings and it's got some bright coloring 
right along its head. It's got some orange and some bright blue too. Looks like we've got some battle damage figures from the Jurassic World Dominion collection. This first one is the Velociraptor with extreme battle damage right there on the side. You can press it to turn it on and off. I've also got actually two of the extreme battle damage Coeluruses. These figures are pretty adjustable as well. You can put them in all sorts of poses and even open and close their jaws. And I've got the Dimetrodon with extreme battle damage right on its side. Next up, I've got the Moros Intrepidus from the Ferocious Pack. This figure has a soft green color on along most of its body. It's got the orange along its tail and a little bit of detailing along its back and some detailing right along its eyes too. This is the Ferocious Pack Mira Gaia. This figure has a darker color scheme with the dark gray blue color in the back and the black in the front with some brighter detailing right along its face. And the most iconic part are these two huge horns right next to its shoulders. This is the Cosmoceratops from the Legacy Collection. It has a dark green color along most of its body with a bit brighter green along the top. It's got some cool detailing along its face and it has an action button for roaring. Um. This is a Dilophosaurus. Now you can't open and close its jaws, but it's got the bright frills right in the front as usual and a green body on the bottom and black on the top. Here we've got another Atrociraptor. This one is in the sneaking or stalking pose. It's got the light tan body with a bit of dark brown detailing along it. And you can even open and close the jaw on this one. This is the Zungaripteris. This is a flying dinosaur and it's got the bright yellow wings and belly and brown top and face as well. And it's got some bright blue and red detailing right along its face. And finally, we've got a little Velociraptor Beta. This figure looks a lot like blue. It's got the same distinctive coloring, but this is actually a younger Velociraptor, just like in the movie. Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today we are checking out this huge collection of dinosaur toys that I have on my shelves right here. Let's go ahead and start right over here with the Tapehara. I believe that's how you pronounce it. It's a little winged dinosaur. Look at that. That is pretty cool. But what I'm most excited to show you is this giant T-Rex right here. Look at the size of that thing and it's custom color too. Up next, we've got a little Chilingosaurus right here. It's a cute little guy, you know? Beside it, we've got this nice little Indominus Rex here. It's like a little baby Indominus Rex. And its mouth opens and closes too. And then right beside it, we've got Mama Indominus Rex. Wow, look at the size of that thing. And it's even got a stomach compartment so you can actually the dinosaur other smaller dinosaurs and right beside it we've got another gigantic t-rex look at that this is so cool this is such a huge dinosaur and right beside it we've got a little dinosaur called the shringosaurus check out those horns it's a funny looking dinosaur don't you think over here, we've got this cool rubbery Indominus Rex. It's got this rubber skin texture that makes it feel kind of like a real life skin, you know? And right beside it, we've got one of my favorite dinosaurs, the Carnotaurus. Look at how ferocious they look and those huge horns on top. Up next, we've got another massive T-Rex. Look at the size of that compared to the dinosaurs beside it. And this one's a cool gray color too. Look at those teeth. Those are some huge teeth. Moving on, we've got a little baby Triceratops right here. Look how cute he is. And he's got the battle damage on the side as well. And right beside it, we've got another vicious 
red dinosaur too. This is an awesome colored dinosaur. Check that out. And at the very end of the shelf here, we've got a cute little Gallimimus. Isn't that cute? Moving on to the next shelf, we've got this giant Quetzalcoatlus. Look at the size of this thing. Those wings are huge. Up next, we've got a mama Dilophosaurus and a baby Dilophosaurus still inside the egg. Moving on over here, we've got this awesomely covered Sarcosagus. And over here, we've got this yellow dinosaur with the red top and that huge horn, but I'm not sure what kind of dinosaur this is. Do you know? Why don't you let me know in the comments below? On our next shelf, we've got this awesome looking Triceratops. Look at the size of those horns and all those little horns along the edge too. Right beside it, we've got this cute little Ankylosaurus right here. And up next, we've got this massive Ceratosaurus. Let's see what kind of noises it makes. Wow, that is super amazing. Right next to it is a dinosaur called the Calovosaurus. This is a smaller dinosaur, but look at that coloring too. I really like that yellow and blue combination. Up next, we've got the Aranosaurus, and it's got a button right here. Let's see what happens. Is super cool. That is awesome. On to the next shelf over here. This is a Dracorex. It's a smaller dinosaur, but check out all those spikes on its head right there. And right next to it, we've got another big dinosaur, the Cryolophosaurus here. Look at that yellow coloring with the orange on top. That is super cool. Right beside it, We've got a giant Pteranodon. Look at the size of this thing. It has to be like a foot wide with the wings. And the final dinosaur on this level is the Suchomimus. <laughs> Moving down to the next shelf, we've got a huge Indominus Rex. Look at this. And he's even got space inside the mouth that you can fit dinosaurs in. Right beside it, I've got a little Herrerasaurus. This is a little guy, you know, but it's still a pretty cool collectible. And of course, one of the most popular dinosaurs, the T-Rex. And right beside it, we've got one of the largest ocean dinosaurs, the Mosasaurus. This is a super cool dinosaur. And I love having this one on my shelf. All right, let's move on. Oh, over here, check this out. This is a Scorpios Rex. Wow, that is super cool. Right beside him, we've got Owen from the Jurassic World movies. Say hi, Owen. <laughs> Up next, we've got this beautifully colored Narsudoceratops. And I think the horns on this guy is even bigger than a Triceratops. Look at that. And over here we've got this little T-Rex. It's green colored, but it has the battle damage on the side too. And right beside it, we've got the Carcharodontosaurus, and it has an action button. That is super awesome! And the last one on this shelf is a Dilophosaurus with that super bright coloring. <laughs> Up next, we've got another giant Indominus Rex. But check this one out. This is a hybrid Indominus Rex. Look at that coloring and the spikes and the gold on its claw. And it's got this button right here. That is so cool. Right beside it, I've got this little Gallimimus dinosaur. And right next to that, the Albertosaurus. And this dinosaur has battle damage as well. Check that out. Moving on, we've got a huge Stegosaurus right here with those massive spikes on its tail right there. And the last one on this level is the beautiful Concava Nodder. Look at that bright red on its back and that purple right on its face too. And it's got an action button. Let's see what happens. All 
right, moving down a level. Here we go. All right, another giant Mosasaurus. Everyone watch out. And over here, we've got another small water dinosaur. This is called the Plesiosaurus. Right beside it, this awesome T-Rex. And look at this button on it. Look at what it does. Wow, look at that roar action. That is so cool. And in the middle shelf, we've got a Baryonyx right here. Oops, I knocked over this guy. This one is a Pachycephalosaurus. And another T-Rex. Look how giant these are compared to the other dinosaurs. That is so cool. And right next to the T-Rex, I've got this awesome colored Dimetrodon. Look at this. Look at the size of that spine on its back too. And over here, oh, do you see that? It's a Velociraptor. Look out, oh no. And over here, perched on its rock, is a Pteranodon, one of the coolest flying dinos. At least I think so. Okay, moving on to the next shelf. We've got this awesome looking Baryonyx. Look at that. And right beside it, a cute little Stiggy Moloch with battle damage on the side. <laughs> Over here, we've got a giant Stegosaurus. Look at the size of this thing compared to the Stiggy Moloch. That is huge. But wait, you haven't seen huge until you've seen the next one, which is the giant Spinosaurus. Wow. This dinosaur is so cool. And the final dinosaur on this level is the great Carnotaurus! Everybody watch out! All right, let's move down another level. This is the final level, and it has some more giant dinosaurs, like this giant Apatosaurus. Look at the size of this guy. Right beside it, I've got this awesome blue Velociraptor. Look at the coloring on him. And right beside it, we've got another giant Spinosaurus. <laughs> These are so cool. I love the coloring on their spines. But wait, there's even more. Look at this giant Velociraptor. This is huge. It's probably two or three feet long. And right below it, we've got Blue the Velociraptor as well. Moving on to the next shelf here. What do we have? We've got a giant Carnotaurus. Look at those horns. And it's even got some battle damage as well. Look at that. And with this dinosaur, you can actually feed it smaller dinosaurs. And it has a stomach compartment at the bottom too. That is super cool. And a baby Carnotaurus. Look at that. Over beside it, we've got a family of Brachiosauruses here. Look, here's the first baby, and here's the second baby, and then we've got the Mama Brachiosaurus right here. This one is huge. But check out beside it on the next shelf, this is a giant T-Rex, and look at all the battle damage that it has on its neck and on its face too. Look at the size of those teeth right there. Some of them are broken because this is an old toy, but this is still a really cool looking T-Rex. And look at that. Right next to it, we've got a smaller T-Rex ready to fight as well. And right beneath it is another dinosaur that I would not want to mess with in the wild because of the size of these spikes. This is the Sora Pelta. And last but certainly not least is this giant Velociraptor and this tiny little Dimorphodon on top. But check out this Velociraptor. Look at those teeth in its mouth. And just like the other giant dinosaurs I have, this Velociraptor has a stomach compartment. So you can actually feed it small dinosaurs and it goes all the way down to its stomach where you can take them out again. That is super cool. All right, that is all the dinosaurs that I am currently displaying on my dinosaur shelves. I hope you enjoyed checking out all these dinosaurs and I can't wait to see you next time when I show you even more.
Welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today, I'm going to show you a huge collection of Jurassic World figures. Let's start with these brand new, and I've actually got this giant one right here. Let's open it up. This is a ginormous Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's got the foot stomping action. And it's got a roar with a button as well. Let's check that out. That is so cool. Plus, this set comes with a cage that you put around its head that it can break free from. Let's go ahead and put that on and check out the action. All right, so here is the trapped T-Rex, but I think he can break free. Let's see him try. Ready? Three, two, one, break free! Wow, that is so cool. I love that action. I've got a few more brand new ones to add to my collection, starting with this one. This is the Tanistrophius. Let's go ahead and open this up. And let's check it out. Wow, look at that really long neck. And I love the coloring on this. This is like a bright blue color. I don't have that many dinosaurs that are colored like this. <laughs> and that really long neck leading up to this awesome face right there. Look at those teeth too. <laughs> and I believe this one has an action as well. If you move the tail, <laughs> then the neck moves up and down. That is so cool. <laughs> And I've got another brand new dinosaur to add to my collection. This is the Styracosaurus from the Fierce Force Collection. Let's check this out. So this looks kind of like a Triceratops, you know? But it has a lot more horns. And this one has an action as well. If you move the tail, then the head goes up and down. And I really like those, uh, it's like a glowing yellow and orange right there on the front of its head. All right, which one should we do next? I think we should do this awesome Indominus Rex. Look at the coloring on this. This is so bright and so cool looking. It's got the blue belly with the purple on the side and on the top. And then it's got that black ridge all the way down with the orange outlining it. This is a really cool Indominus Rex and it has two actions. You've got the button on the tail for the roar. And you've got a button up top here for the slashing action. That is so cool. Look at all those teeth. Up next, right in front here, we've got a giant Spinosaurus. Look at the blue coloring on its spine and look at all this brown and tan. I think that this would blend into the jungle really well. This one would sneak up on you and it would pounce on you before you could even know it's there. This is a really cool figure. And right over here, we've got one of my favorite T-Rex figures. This one is different from all the others because it has this green and brown coloring all over it that'll make it blend into the jungle more than any of the other T-Rexes that I have. And it has some action buttons as well. It's got the foot stomp right here. And if you move the tail, it'll move its head too. That is super cool. The coloring and detail on this Tyrannosaurus Rex is super realistic. Over here, we've got another Tyrannosaurus Rex. This one is like a brown orange color. The legs move, the tail moves, the arms, and look at all the battle damage all over it. It's got it on its leg, on its tail, on its side, and I really like the ones on its face too. It makes it look a lot more tough. Look at that. That is so cool. Uh-oh, better watch out. Here comes another Indominus Rex. This one is a normal colored Indominus Rex, but it still has the same awesome action buttons like we saw on the blue Indominus Rex. Got the roar. 
And you've got the slashing action. That is so cool. And look at all these spikes and bumps on its back too. This Indominus Rex is huge. Uh-oh, you better watch out. Here comes one of the biggest ocean monsters that we saw in the Jurassic World movies. This is the Mosasaurus. Look at the size of its mouth. That is huge. And all those teeth. If you saw this in the ocean, you better get away fast. All right, we've got another Spinosaurus with different coloring. This one is green and red, and I think would blend into the jungle just as well as the other one, probably. Maybe not with the red, but who knows? It's still got the same awesome action button for its jaw. And you can move its arms, its legs, and its tail as well. This is a really cool Spinosaurus figure. Over here, we've got another super cool Tyrannosaurus Rex. This one though, has the battle damage that you can turn on and off. Check it out with this button right here. That is so cool. So when you're playing with another dinosaur and the other dinosaur comes along and it bites him on the side, you can turn on the battle damage just like that. That is super neat. And of course, we've got a Carnotaurus right here. This is like a red and orange dinosaur with a brown on top with all those little spikes. That is so cool. And up, <laughs> he's a loud dinosaur. And up top here, you can see that it's got those two huge horns. You better watch out for this one in the jungle. All right, let's keep digging. Over here, all right. This is a Scorpios Rex from the Jurassic World movies. Look at those poisonous spikes. I think they're quills actually on its tail and it's got two action buttons. Look at all those teeth right there. And the second action button is for the arms. Also, look at that massive claw on its foot. That is so crazy. All right, right here, we've got a giant winged dinosaur. This is the Quetzalcoatl, or I think that's how you pronounce it. But this is a huge flying dinosaur, and it's got two action buttons right there on the top. Let's see what they do. The first one flaps its wings like that. The second one moves its beak up and down. That is super cool. This is a huge flying dinosaur figure. Oh, look at this right over here. One of the coolest dinosaurs from the new Jurassic World movies, the Endoraptor. On this figure, the jaw doesn't open and close, which is a bit of a bummer, but you can still move its arms and its legs and its tail as well. And look at that detail of the gold stripe down its side. Check it out. We've got two more Scorpius Rexes right here in the back. Look at this. One of them is a bit smaller than the other. This one has the action buttons just like we saw before. And this one, the smaller one, doesn't have the action buttons, but it still has the same coloring and those poisonous quills on its tail. All right, let's keep digging around. Let's see. All right, here is an Allosaurus. Look at that action. That chomping action right there. That is so cool. This is a gray dinosaur, and it's got those yellow markings all along its back and tail. And it's quite movable as well. You can move all the parts of its body. All right, here we got an Ankylosaurus with battle damage. This Ankylosaurus has an action as well. If you move its leg, then its tail will move back and forth for hitting its opponents. And its face will move up and down too. That is super cool. And I love that battle damage. That's a cool little detail there. 
All right, we've got another vicious endoraptor. This one has a mouth that can open and close and its entire body basically can move as well. It is fully adjustable. So this is a great model to have up on your shelf. And once again, that gold stripe all the way down its body. That is so cool. All right, here we've got what I believe is a Ceratosaurus. It's got that big horn on the front and all those tiny little, I think they're like spikes or bumps right along its spine. And it's got an action button as well. Wow, that is super scary sounding. All right, here we've got one of the most popular dinosaurs from the Jurassic World and Jurassic Park movies, the Velociraptor. And this figure is super poseable. Look at that, you can move its legs in any direction. Even its claw right on its foot can go up and down. This is a great super poseable Velociraptor. Up next, we've got a miniature Spinosaurus with battle damage and an action as well. If you move the tail, the head can move as well. You better watch out for Spinosauruses whenever you're near water because these dinosaurs are known for hunting for fish. That is super cool. All right, we've got another Velociraptor right here. I think I got a few more in here. Oh yeah, here is Blue the Velociraptor and it's got the battle damage too. That is so cool. But this yellow Velociraptor actually has a spring jumping action like that. Look at with its legs, they're spring loaded so it can leap up into the air. You ready? And back into the bin. This is a super cool Velociraptor and super bright. Oh, look at this super bright dinosaur. This is so colorful, bright blue and the dark blue and gold as well. This, I believe, is a hybrid dinosaur, I think between a Stegosaurus and a Triceratops. That is so cool. And it's got the battle damage too. Right over here, we've got a miniature Mosasaurus. We saw the big version of this, and now here is a smaller toy version. But this one comes with the battle damage. Look at that, you can even see some bones in there too. And look at this one. This is a baby T-Rex. Look at that, it looks a lot like an adult T-Rex. Still has the same stance and overall form, but it's just a lot smaller and it looks like a baby in some ways. And it's got the action as well. Check this out. We've got another super poseable Velociraptor. Look at how you can pose its arms and its legs and its head and even its neck too. You don't see that very often in figures. And look, look at those claws again. You can move them up and down, just like how they do in real life. Here, we've got another Ankylosaurus, I believe. Look at all that armor plating, and it's got the spikes on the side as well. And it's got an action button right here. When you press it, there goes its tail. You better watch out. You do not want to get hit by that tail. All right, look at this one. This is a Metriacanthosaurus. This is a super bright red dinosaur and it's got those black stripes all along its back and its tail as well. And it's even got a little bit of like the orange yellow on its face too. And it's got the action button. This is the Edamontosaurus. Look at that. Yellow up top 
and the blue along its head, and it's a super colorful dinosaur. Do you think that this would blend into the jungle still, though? Let me know in the comments below. Look at this giant dinosaur. This is an Asutoceratops, and check out those giant horns. They kind of look like the horns of a bull, don't you think, in a way? That's really cool. And we've got the action buttons up top as well. This is a massive dinosaur. You better stay out of the way of this one or he might stomp on you. Oh, we've got another Allosaurus right here, but this one looks different than the last one that we saw. This one is blue up top and then a tan on the sides and the bottom. And we've got the action buttons. Let's see what they do. That is super cool. Here we've got a tiny little Stygimalog with a super hard head and the spikes and with the action as well so it can headbutt other dinosaurs to defend itself. And here we've got two differently colored Gallimimuses. We've got a bright orange one here and then a, like a blue gray Gallimimus right here. Oh, you know what? We've got another Gallimimus in here. I miss this one. But this one also has different coloring. Look at that blue and red up top and the orange sides and the orange tail as well. Just a few dinosaurs left. Here we've got a baby Ankylosaurus. Look at that. It still has that hard covering up top to defend itself against predators. All oh, right here, we've got two twin dinosaurs. These are the Ornitholestes. And they're both brown with the yellow striping on top and a little bit of orange on their face right there. Here we've got a bright green dinosaur. This is the Sauropelta. And check out those massive spikes on its back. I bet those are for defense against predators. And here are our last two dinosaurs. This is the Herrerasaurus. With the battle damage on the side too. That is so neat. And this gray dinosaur is the Trudon. Hello and welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today, we're gonna check out a bunch of giant dinosaurs that are in the new Jurassic World Dominion movie. And I've actually got some brand new toys as well to unbox. Let's get started with this big one right here. This is from the Jurassic World Dominion toy series that just came out. Let's open it up. All right, so we've got the capture and crush truck. And let's go ahead and click the arm into place. All right, this truck is used for capturing those dinosaurs like this Velociraptor right here. Let's see it in action. Car's driving around, along comes this Raptor and you can use the claw to swoop down and pick up the Raptor and then put it in the back of the truck. Just like that. Now we have a captured Velociraptor. Or is he captured? This is a really cool toy. And it even comes with a few more things as well. You've got a cannon in there. You've got some chains. 
And I think this truck actually has an additional feature to it. So check this out. The truck can actually break apart. When the Raptor comes along and it headbutts the front of the car, bam! Oh no, look out! The truck's broken! That is so cool. And you can even do that on the side too. You can headbutt it and bam! The car breaks. That is so awesome. This is one powerful Velociraptor. And next up of our brand new Jurassic World Dominion toys is this Owen Escape Pack. And look at all the dinosaurs that it comes with. And of course, Owen on his motorcycle. Let's open it up. All right, so this set comes with three dinosaurs. The first one is a giant Carnotaurus. Look at that, you can see its horns. And I think one of the horns is actually broken. It's a wounded Carnotaurus. And the other two dinosaurs are the mighty Atrociraptors. Look at the coloring on this one. It is striped. It's like bright orange with the white striping. That is crazy. And our other Atrociraptor, Ooh, he's in that sneaking pose. He's stalking his prey, which is Owen right now. So you better watch out for this Atrociraptor or he'll sneak up on you. And finally, we've got Owen up here and he comes with a helmet and a tiny little knife. Well, let's check out Owen. Right, here is Owen, fits on his motorcycle. It's a bright red motorcycle. And he zooms away while the Atrociraptors chase after him. Run! Next up in our brand new figures, we've got the Ankylosaurus, the Roar Strikers series. Let's open this dinosaur up. Here is the great and mighty Ankylosaurus. Look at all that armor plating on its back. And I love the coloring on this too. It's like a clay red color and it's got brown on the top and all those spikes are a nice bright tan color. And this toy comes with an action as well. You can push down on its back and it'll swing his tail. Watch out for that tail. All right, let's see what other dinosaurs we've got from the Jurassic World Dominion movie. Right here, we've got the good old classic Tyrannosaurus Rex. And this dinosaur actually comes with a cage that you can put on its face that it'll break out of. So right now he's trapped and he's gonna break out in three, two, one, go! That is so cool. This is an awesome dinosaur figure. Up next, we've got a giant Indominus Rex with battle damage. Look at the battle damage on the side right there. That's so cool. It comes with sound effects and you can turn the battle damage on and off. And besides the battle damage on the side, you've also got the action where you can open and close its mouth with a button on its tail. This figure is ginormous. This one is super cool to display on my shelf. Over here, we've got another dinosaur with battle damage. This is a Tyrannosaurus battle damage edition. Look at all that damage all over its body. It's got huge gashes on its chin and on its leg, on its side, and even a little bit on its face right there too. This is super cool. I love the detail to this. All the way in the back here, we've got the great Spinosaurus. These dinosaurs are huge in real life. And I love the coloring on this one as well. Look at all that detail. And even look at the skin too. Look at all those bumps, it looks super realistic.
over here in the corner, we've got another T-Rex, but this one's a bit different than the other ones. It's a bright red, and it's got this action button on the tail. If you press it, there's a chomping action. That is super cool, and I love how bright this T-Rex is. All right, we've got a few more T-Rexes right here. This one is even bigger than this T-Rex over here. Let's check out this one first. This one has the ripping action. Wow, look at that. And it's got the tail action too. That is super cool. And this T-Rex right over here, it's a bit smaller, but still super ferocious. Look at this. We've got another giant Indominus Rex, just like the other one, except this one doesn't have battle damage. This one has a claw slashing action. Look at this. Right up front here, we've got a ginormous Triceratops. And look at that battle damage too. This dinosaur is quite rubbery. The whole outside is rubber, so it feels pretty lifelike. And when you squeeze its chest, its neck moves up and down. That is really cool. Let's keep digging in. Over here, we've got a mighty Carnotaurus with its great horns on the top and the tiny little arms in the front and the action button on its tail to operate its mouth. Uh-oh, better watch out. We've got some of the most ferocious dinosaurs right here. These are the Scorpios Rexes. These things are super scary. And I like that they're mostly black so they can actually sneak around in the dark easier than other dinosaurs. So you'd wanna keep your eye out for these at the nighttime. And it's got the claw slashing action as well. Right up front, we've got a gigantic Stegosaurus. Look at this. And it's got some action buttons as well. Look at that, you see? It's moving its head up and down. That is super cool. And on the other side here, if you press this one, it swings its tail back and forth. Oh no, watch out for those spikes. Stay out of the way. Check this out. This is one of my favorite Indominus Rex figures. Look at all the detail. This figure is more of a model because none of the parts move other than its mouth. But I love the coloring on it and how realistic it looks. All right, here are some of my favorite dinosaurs ever. These are giant velociraptors and I love the coloring too. They're similar, but this one's like a more teal color and this is a more jungle green color. I love the stripes and the speckled coloring on this dinosaur. And both of these velociraptors are super poseable. Look at all the ways that you can move them. And even with the claws on their feet, you can move up and down. That is so cool. Oh, you better watch out. This is an Endoraptor. These dinosaurs are super scary and super smart. You better stay out of the way of these dinosaurs. Look at that gold on the side. And once again, this dinosaur is mostly black as well. So we can sneak around in the night. Look at this. We've got a few Dilophosauruses with their crazy looking frills. Stay out of the way of these dinosaurs or they might spit venom at you. Ooh, right over here. We've got a few more Ankylosauruses. 
And look at the difference in coloring on these two as well. This one's a lot brighter. It's got that bright blue and like a yellow tan coloring on the bottom. And this one is a green and brown on the bottom, but they've both got those mighty spikes and the mighty armor plating. Let's see the action button on this one. Super cool. And what does this one have? Let's check it out. Let's keep going. There's so many more dinosaurs to see. Wow. Look at these two. I think these both are herbivores. I'm actually not sure what type of dinosaur they are. But look at this one. This one has a huge horn on its back. And this one kind of has like a crown on top. It's like a bright yellow right on the top of its head. And this one's got some action buttons as well. Let's see what it does. First button moves its neck. And the second button moves the tail. And on this dinosaur, you can wiggle the tail back and forth to move its head. How cool is that? Oh, check this out. We've got another model dinosaur. This is the mighty T-Rex. And look at that awesome pose that he's in. It's as if he's roaring right now. Oh, look out. We've got another Indominus Rex in here. This one comes with battle damage as well. And you click it, bam, there's the battle damage. And the tail controls the head as well. Watch out for those chomps. Ooh, right over here. This is a Mosasaurus. This dinosaur swims in the ocean and it is a ginormous dinosaur. All right, we've got even more Dilophosauruses in here. Check it out, we've got three more. This one is a giant one. And these two are smaller, but look at the coloring on these. That is so cool. And look at how different they all are. I love the variety in coloring, even for the same species of dinosaur. Oh, and here are some of my favorite dinosaurs again. The Velociraptors. We've got a green one right here. Got a brown Velociraptor. And of course, the famous blue. Oh, I think there's even more Velociraptors in here. Here we go. We've got another green Velociraptor. This one looks like he's sneaking around, stalking his prey. And then we've got this awesome bright red Velociraptor with green stripes on the back. And this Velociraptor actually has a jumping action. The legs are spring-loaded, so when you press down, it'll spring up into the air. Three, two, one. All right, these are our last dinosaurs of the bin. Look at this. I believe this is a Pteranodon, maybe? And it's got the battle damage on the top that you can open and close. We've also got a baby Triceratops. Those massive horns in the front. Super cool. And also, a cute little Gallimimus. And this coloring is really cool. It's got the blue top and the orange sides. Welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today we are checking out a bunch of dinosaurs from the new Jurassic World Dominion movie. And I've even got some brand new dinosaurs to unbox. Let's start with the biggest one, the Tyrannosaurus Rex Thrash and Devour. is the new Jurassic World Dominion Tyrannosaurus Rex. And it does have some action buttons as well. You can see on the tail right here. What does that do? All right. 
that activates the jaw. I do see something right here. That is the barcode that you scan with the Camp Cretaceous app to find out more about the Tyrannosaurus Rex. That is super cool. The old ones have the sticker on the bottom of their feet, but now they're doing this little DNA barcode. That's really cool. And of course, you can move the tail and it moves his head as well. Check that out. And look at that. I bet you can fit some tiny dinosaurs in its mouth. It's got enough room in there to fit a few to swallow. All right, I've got two more brand new toys to unbox still. Which one to open first? Let's go with this one. This is the Scorpio Venator. That is crazy. I haven't seen a dinosaur that looks like this before. Let's open it up. All right, here is the Scorpio Venator. Let's go ahead and put that tail on. And it just clicks in like that. And there we go. Wow, look at the face on this dinosaur. Kind of reminds me of a Carnotaurus in a way. But I love the coloring on this one. It's like that uh, mustard yellow and it's got that gray top. And look at all those horns on top as well. Oh, and he comes with sound effects too. Let's see what else he can do. So his head moves up and down. We're chomping. And he's got that DNA barcode to scan on as well. And look at those tiny little arms. So this is a massive chomping dinosaur. Look at this chomping action. And look at all those teeth too. This is a huge jaw. And you got those yellow glowing eyes. This is a pretty cool dinosaur. I am super excited to add this to my collection. All right, our next brand new dinosaur. It is a good old Triceratops from the Jurassic World Dominion series. Let's open it up. All right, let's put that tail on. Clicks right in, nice and easy. All right, here is our Roar Strikers Triceratops. Oh, that's really cool. Look at how its head moves, as if it's like stabbing another dinosaur or something. It's mostly green, so it'll camouflage into the jungle really well. And it's got those, uh, it's like brown red stripes on the top. It's a really cool detail. Look at the size of those horns too. Super awesome! Alright, now on for the rest of the Dominion Dinosaurs. This is an Indominus Rex! And it's custom colored too. You won't see these colors in the movie, but it's still an awesome Indominus Rex. Look at those orange stripes all along its body. It's got the purple and the blue. This one is so cool. It's one of the most colorful dinosaurs that I have. <laughs> And look at that. You could probably fit some mini dinosaurs in this dinosaur's mouth too. I think there's enough space in there. That is really cool. And it has a claw slashing action as well. Better watch out for the Indominus Rex. And right in the front up here, we've got the almighty Giganotosaurus. This is even bigger than a Tyrannosaurus Rex. And I believe it actually runs even faster than a T-Rex too. Do you think that a T-Rex would stand a chance against one of these? Let me know in the comments below. All right, we've got a lot more big dinosaurs in here. This is the Spinosaurus. And this is a classic coloring, I think, because it's got the green on the sides that blend into the jungle, and then the red striping on the top. This dinosaur is gigantic, and they actually swim in the water too. These dinosaurs were known to go fishing in the water. How cool is that? <laughs> All 
All right, we've got a lot more T-Rexes in here. Here is one that's really poseable. You can twist his neck around, and of course he's got the tiny little arms, movable legs, the tail is fully adjustable as well. A little detail in its mouth as well. It's got that tongue and all those teeth. Over here we've got another massive Tyrannosaurus Rex. Check this out. Wow, look at that tearing action. That would tear the meat off any dinosaur. And the second action is with its tail. Press this button right here and it'll like swing its tail and hit any dinosaur that's trying to attack it. That is super awesome. Uh-oh, you better watch out. Here is another Indominus Rex. This one, unlike the one that we saw earlier, has more traditional coloring. So it's the gray all along its body. And look at those teeth too. Those things are so huge. And of course it's got the spikes along its back. And it's got that slashing action. You better watch out. Check out this T-Rex over here. This T-Rex has battle damage. You can see it's hidden on its side right there. But when you press this button up top, watch, ready? Three, two, one. Battle damage on both sides. That is super cool. And this T-Rex has a mouth that will stay open even without pressing a button. So you can pose it with its mouth open on your shelf like that. That is super cool. Oh, look at this one back here. Another gigantic Spinosaurus. And this one has way cooler coloring. Look at all the different colors on its body. And of course, the green eyes. That's the most brightest part of this dinosaur. Those are some filthy teeth. This dinosaur needs to brush his teeth. Let's keep going. This is another T-Rex. <laughs> this one also has a button on the head that you can press to open its jaw. That is really cool. And of course you've got the movable legs, the arms, the neck, and the tail. All right, another T-Rex. This one's a bit different though. Got a button right here that's kind of hidden. Let's see what happens when you press it. Wow, that's pretty cool. I don't think I have another T-Rex that's animatronic that moves its neck like that. That is super cool. And you'll see that it's got these wheels on its feet. So you can actually roll it around. This is a lot different than the other T-Rexes that I have, but it's still an awesome addition to my collection. Look out, I see a ferocious dinosaur in here. It's the Scorpios Rex. Well, look at all those teeth. You've got an action button for slashing. And like you may already know with the Scorpios Rex, the quills on its tail are actually poisonous. So you better watch out for those when he's attacking you. And you can actually swing the tail back and forth. Let's keep digging. All right, right here we've got a Carnotaurus. Look at those little horns on its head. Look at that battle damage on its side right there. That is so cool. And on the tail, you can move its neck and head. So it looks really lifelike. Better watch out. Here comes the Carnotaurus. Ooh, here's a dangerous dinosaur. This is the Dilophosaurus. Better watch out when it sticks out its frills. That might mean he's gonna attack. Oh, look at this one right at the top here. This is a T-Rex with extreme battle damage. Look at this. You can like take it almost all the way apart and reveal the inside. That is so cool. All right, 
right over here. This is a Cryoophosaurus. Look at that head. That is a super cool head. Super decorative and kind of intimidating at the same time. And you can use its tail to control its head. Alright, here we've got a Baryonyx with battle damage. Look at that. Right on its neck you can see it's been hurt while it was fighting and on its leg as well. And this dinosaur has an action button. Let's try it out. And I think we've actually got another Baryonyx in here without battle damage. Look at that. Totally different coloring. It's got that bright blue on its neck and its head and it has a different action button as well. Let's see what happens when you press this. That is super neat. It's got a bunch of different sound effects and it actually slides up and down to different positions so you can have its mouth open or all the way closed. All right, right here we've got a Metriacanthosaurus. This one is like a bright yellow and green coloring. And it's got an action button on the top as well. You better watch out for this dinosaur. He looks a little hungry. Oh, look over here. We've got a massive Stegosaurus. And it has some action buttons as well. If you press this up here, and it actually swings its tail back and forth. You better watch out for those spikes. Those are some huge spikes. I think this dinosaur blends into the jungle really well. Got that brown bottom for the dirt on the jungle, and you've got a green top to blend into the bushes and the trees. That is super cool. Ooh, I see a cool dinosaur right up top here. You better watch out. This is the Therizinosaurus. Look at those huge claws on its hands. Those would really hurt during a battle. And it's got this long neck leading up to its face. And with this toy, you can open and close its mouth. And this dinosaur has some pretty sinister looking coloring, don't you think? It's got that darker colors on the top and on its side. And then it's got that red all along its face and neck and even on the tail too. I would be super scared to run into this dinosaur in the wild. Oh, look at here. We've got another giant Carnotaurus. And this one has a chomping action. Let's check that out again. That is super cool. We've got the movable tail and legs and those teeny tiny little arms up front. Let's keep going. We've got a lot more dinosaurs to go. All right, this one is an Allosaurus. Look at the coloring. It's like speckled with the white and the red on the top. And it's got this awesome action button. And some massive roars too. Here we go, we've got another super dangerous dinosaur, another Scorpios Rex. You better watch out. It's got all those teeth in the front again. With this toy, the jaw doesn't open, but it still has those massive claws and of course the quills on its tail. Right over here, this is another cool looking dinosaur. I'm actually not sure what kind of dinosaur this is. I think it's an herbivore. But let me know in the comments if you know what type of dinosaur this is. Let's see what action it does with this button right here. All right, so it's got some running. That is super cool. I bet this is a super fast dinosaur. All right, I think this is another Baryonyx. Look at those teeth. And this one is a green color and the brown on the top. That is super cool. Up next, we've got a giant Velociraptor. And this one is super adjustable. So this one is perfect for posing on a shelf. 
look at all the limbs that you can move. You can bend its knees, its elbows, its shoulders, its neck. This one is super cool, super poseable. All right, here we go. This is another Spinosaurus. This one is a bit smaller than the other Spinosauruses that we have in our collection, but I still love these dinosaurs. Here is a super bright dinosaur. This is another Dilophosaurus with those crazy frills in the front. And look how bright this whole dinosaur is. This is like neon coloring. That is super cool. And it's got this button on the side. I think it's out of batteries, but you could hear sound effects normally on it. Here is another Triceratops with those huge horns in the front. This one actually has different coloring than the other Triceratops that we opened at the beginning. This is brown on the sides and it's got that speckled blue on the top and even on the very front as well. You better watch out. Don't get in the way of those horns. Oh, look at this. We've got a few miniature Indominus Rexes. Look at this really small one. It's still super detailed. You can see all the spikes on its back and on its neck. That's super cool. And then this Indominus Rex has got some battle damage on its side and the tail actually adjusts the neck so you can move its neck up and down for that chomping action. Look at this. We've got a few more baby Dilophosauruses. Uh-oh, this one's missing one side of its frill. But look at the difference in the coloring between these two. These Dilophosauruses may be small, but you'll still want to stay out of their way. They're super dangerous. Look at these. I believe these are Gallimimuses. And they both have different coloring. One is a brown orange color with the stripes on top and the other is more of a blue-gray color. And instead of like actual stripes, it has just a more solid, darker blue on the top. And they're both quite adjustable. Can move the arms and the legs and the necks up and down. Oh, I see some of my favorite dinosaurs in here. Quite a few of them, actually. These are the mighty Velociraptors. And look at all the different ones that we have. This one is like a darker green color and it's posed as if it's sneaking along. Look at that, sneaking along the ground. This one actually has a few different colors on it. It's got the brown on the top, it's got the tan on the sides and a little bit of uh, speckled white right on the sides there. And this one actually has a slashing action. So you can slash those claws back and forth. And then our final two raptors in the bin have even more colors. This is a brighter green Velociraptor with the green striping on the top. And this one is like a yellow color, comes with the battle damage, and it's got the brown on the very top as well. These Velociraptors are so cool. Oh, you know what? I think I actually missed one more Velociraptor. Better watch out, this one's sneaking up on you. All right, just a few dinosaurs left. Here we've got a baby Triceratops, still with those huge horns on the front right there. And it comes with the battle damage on the side. And then we've got this unusual looking dinosaur. This is called a Minmi. And look at all that armor. I think that's armor or those are spikes along its top, but I would not want to try to attack this dinosaur. That would probably hurt. And our last two dinosaurs of the bin. Over here, we've got a flying Pteranodon. Look out, it's coming to get you. And right here, we've got a baby T-Rex. Look at that. And it's got that chomping action as well.
Welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today, I'm gonna to give you a shelf tour of all my dinosaurs that are gonna show up in the Jurassic World Dominion movie. I'm super excited to show you all of these dinosaurs. And look at these, I've actually got some brand new ones that we're gonna unbox first. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, first, let's unbox the Therizinosaurus. This is the sound slashing from the Jurassic World Dominion series. Let's open it up. All right, got it out of the box. Wow, this is a noisy dinosaur. Let's see what it can do. Look at these massive claws in the front. And you can open and close its mouth and adjust its head. Let's see the action moves. If you move the tail. Oh, all right, look at that slashing action. And also there's a button on the tail as well. Let's see what happens when you press that. All right, that is super cool. Wow, this is a super awesome dinosaur. Super ferocious. And with those massive claws, I definitely do not want to be messing with this dinosaur in the wild. Let's move on to our next brand new dinosaur. All right, next up, we've got the massive action Yang Chuanosaurus. This is so cool. Let's open it up. All right, so here is the mighty beast. It's mostly green with a little bit of brown on the top. Look at that on the top of its head. That is so cool. That is so detailed. It's got those massive teeth as well. Let's check out the actions that this has got. Ready? There's a button on its tail. Let's try that one first. All right, that controls its mouth so you can chomp with it. And with the tail, you can actually wiggle it back and forth and it'll move his head as well. So you can chomp and move its neck at the same time. That is so cool. Watch out, here comes the Yang Chuanosaurus. All right, another brand new Jurassic World Dominion toy. This is the Quetzalcoatlus. This is a winged dinosaur. Awesome, let's open it up. All right, here we go. This is a massive winged dinosaur. Let's open up its wings. You ready? Extended and extended. Wow, look at that. That's probably like a foot across. That is huge. And let's check out this button here. If you press it, what happens? All right, it flaps its wings. That is so cool. And there's actually a button on the bottom as well. Look at that. Let's see what happens when you press that. Oh, its mouth opens and closes. And look at the size of this head too. That is a huge beak and a very colorful beak too. All right, now let's check out all these other dinosaurs that I have on my shelf. Let's start way up here up top. Here is a gigantic Velociraptor. Look at the size of those claws. Those claws are bigger than my fingers. Look at that, that is huge. And with this toy, you can open and close its mouth. Look at that. That is so ferocious. Right next to it, we've got a, uh, well, what is this? I think this is a Brachiosaurus. That is so cool. Look at the detail to it. That is very neat. Up next, we've got a baby Indominus Rex. Look at this. It's kind of cute. And it's got a ginormous head. You can open its mouth reveal its tongue. Oh, it's even got a roaring action as well. That is so cool. Look at this. This is a model Spinosaurus. Uh-oh, I think it's missing an arm actually. But look at its mouth. You can open and close its mouth. And check out that spine too. This is a huge dinosaur. But this toy is even bigger. This is the Scorpios Rex. And these toys have a few actions. One of the buttons controls its mouth and the other controls the claws. That is super cool. Up next on the top shelf, look at this gigantic Carnotaurus. This is one of my favorite giant dinosaurs that I have. And look, it's even got some battle damage 
right there on its face. And just like the other giant dinosaurs that I have, you can actually fit miniature dinosaurs down its throat and it actually has a stomach compartment as well. That is so cool. These are one of my favorite dinosaurs for sure. I just love the way they look. Right over here, we've got a mighty Stegosaurus with those huge spikes on its tail. That is so cool and I love the coloring as well. But watch out right next to it, a giant Indominus Rex. Watch out, look at the size of those teeth. Those are huge. And I love the eyes on these as well. These look super sinister. I love these giant dinosaurs. And right beside it, we've got some smaller dinosaurs too. We've got a baby Triceratops right here. We've got Velociraptor Blue. Everyone knows this one. We've got a model Tyrannosaurus Rex. Look at the muscles on the dinosaur. That is massive. And this one has an adjustable mouth as well. Look at all those tiny little teeth. And the last one on the top shelf, a baby Carnotaurus. This dinosaur has two actions. The first is a button up top you can press and it blinks its eyes. That's kind of cool. And the second action is a button on the bottom of its tail. When you press that, it lunges forward and bites. Watch out for this dinosaur. All right, moving on down to our second shelf. We've got a mama Dilophosaurus and a baby Dilophosaurus right beside each other. And they're both super brightly colored. That means you better stay away from these. Over here, we've got a T-Rex with battle damage. Look at that on its side. And the tail also can control the mouth and the head as well. Right beside the T-Rex, we've got this awesomely colored Pachycephalosaurus. And look at that action when you pull the tail. The head goes up and down to headbutt the other dinosaurs. Watch out. Over here, we've got a little baby Brachiosaurus. This is a cute little dinosaur and still quite adjustable. It can move all its legs and its neck and its mouth as well. And moving on from this baby Brachiosaurus, we've got a baby Triceratops. We've got a green Velociraptor. And look at it, it's kind of sneaking along. It's in that sneaking pose. You better watch out for this Velociraptor. And we've got this Gallimimus right here too. Look at this. It's a little dinosaur. It's very cool. All right, moving on. Over here, we've got a Parasaurolophus. Look at the coloring on this dino. Super bright and even a little shiny. Look at that. That is super cool. Oh, and it's got some sound effects too. That is super neat. Right on over here, we've got a giant Velociraptor. This one is super cool coloring. I love, it's like teal coloring and it's super speckled all over its body. That is so cool. I love it. Right beside it, a smaller dinosaur. This is the Calavasaurus. And look at this, it's standing on four legs. The neck is adjustable, the legs are, and it's got those orange specks on its back. Right beside it, we've got another giant Velociraptor. I think this is Velociraptor Blue. And standing right beside her is Owen. Come on! Right beside them, we've got another mighty dinosaur, the Ceratosaurus. This one has action buttons on it. Let's see what it does. That's cool, it's a sliding button. So you can actually move it to multiple positions for different roars and uh, a different opening of the mouth. That is awesome. And right beside it, we've got a super different looking dinosaur. This is the Oranosaurus. Whoops, there goes the Ceratosaurus, that's okay though. This Oranosaurus also has an action button. Let's see what it does. Super cool. It moves its neck up and down with sound effects. That is awesome. I love the coloring on this. 
All right, let's keep going. Over here, we've got a model Tyrannosaurus Rex and look at that roar pose that it's in. That is so cool. And right beside it, we've got another Parasaurolophus. This one is yellow as well. And I think it has an action button too. Yep, right up at the top, moves its neck. And then I think it has a second one for its tail too. Super cool. Right beside it is a big old Brachiosaurus. This one is red. And it's uh, made a little bit more from like a rubber substance. In real life, these dinosaurs are ginormous. Right next to it, oh, oh, look out, another Velociraptor. This one is a bright green with stripes all over it. And it's got some type of device on its head, probably for tracking it. And on the rest of this level, we've got another Brachiosaurus. This one's striped green and red. We've got a bright blue Velociraptor another baby Brachiosaurus, and one of my favorite Velociraptors. Look at this one. This has gold on its head and on its back. That is so cool. All right, moving down to level, here we go. Here is a bright green Velociraptor. This one has a button on its side. I think it's out of batteries now, but it also has a tail action. When you pull the tail, its mouth opens and closes. Right beside it, here's a good old Ankylosaurus. Look at all that armor it has. That is so cool. And it's got an action button. This is one of those sliding buttons. So when you slide it up, you can go back and forth. Oh, it's hitting my hand. Over here, we've got a giant Triceratops with an action button. And it roars as well. That is so cool. Look at those giant horns. But watch out, right beside it, we've got a T-Rex with battle damage. Look, that's where the battle damage is gonna come out. You ready? Here we go. Bam, there's the battle damage. And you can pose this T-Rex's mouth too. So if you wanna keep it open, when you have it on the shelf, there you go. It's ready to go, that is so cool. Right beside it, we've got another awesome Carnotaurus. This is a super bright dinosaur. I love the coloring along its body. And this dinosaur has an action button too. Look at the tail, you can spin it and it moves its head. And when you press the button, it chomps its mouth. That is so cool. Oh, and here is a mighty dinosaur of the sea. This is a Mosasaurus. These things are ginormous and they can eat huge dinosaurs. You can move the fins, you can move the jaw and look at the attention to detail all along its body. That is so cool. All right, moving on. We've already unboxed these three dinosaurs and moving on over here. This is the Edmontosaurus. Look at that beautiful yellow crest on its head. And this dinosaur has an action as well. Like many of the other dinosaurs, if you move the tail, you can move its head. That is super cool. I love how you can control these dinosaurs. Right next to it, we've got another giant Tyrannosaurus Rex. Look out, everyone. And right beside it, not quite as big, but still ferocious looking. This is the Albertosaurus. I really like this dinosaur because this looks different than a lot of the other dinosaurs and it comes with really cool battle damage. You can close it all the way and then you can even move its rib cage up and down. That is so cool. Right beside it, another giant T-Rex. This is so cool. Look at the size of that face and jaw. That is so awesome. And this right here is a Baryonyx with some super cool coloring. Look at that orange right on its nose right there. And this dinosaur also has an action button to control its jaw. <laughs> and the last on this level of the shelf, another great and mighty Scorpios Rex. <laughs> It's got the jaw button and it's got the slashing action too. 
And of course, the poisonous quills on its tail. You better watch out for those. All right, let's move down another level. Here we go. Right at the edge, we've got another little Velociraptor Blue. Over here, we've got a model Spinosaurus. Look how mean this one looks. This one looks super angry. Look at those teeth. Look at those eyes too. Wow, that is a super scary looking dinosaur. And right next to it, we've got the glorious Endoraptor, the super smart, super intelligent, and super dangerous dinosaurs. These are super cool. And here are two more Tyrannosaurus Rexes. And look, they look quite a bit different. This one actually has a rubber tail, which I've always found very interesting. It's a unique addition to this toy. But these are really cool. I always love adding more T-Rexes to my collection. All right, let's move on. What else do we have here? Oh, here is another giant Triceratops. This one is green and it's got the stabbing action with its horns and another button to control its tail too. How cool is that? But what is this giant one right beside it? Let's see. Oh, this is another giant Brachiosaurus. Look at the size of that neck. That is so huge. Right next to it, another massive looking T-Rex. That is so awesome. And this T-Rex has a button on its back for the chomping. That is so cool. And right beside it, we've got a giant Velociraptor. This is actually an RC Velociraptor. You can see it's got some wheels and it moves its arms. But look at that face, that is so cool. You see all those teeth? And look at those eyes too. That dinosaur is looking for something to eat right now. Oh, check this one out. This is a Tyrannosaurus Rex, but look how bright it is. That is so cool. It's almost like it's on fire. That is so awesome. I love the custom coloring on this T-Rex. And right beside the T-Rex, we've got this winged dinosaur. I think it might be a Pteranodon. I can't remember actually. Let me know in the comments if you know what type of flying dinosaur this is. But I love that gold on its face. Look at that. That is super cool. All right, let's move on. Over here, we've got another giant Indominus Rex. And this one is super adjustable. You can move its arms and its legs and its neck, and it has a few action buttons as well. The first is the claw slashing action. Look at that. And then the second, press down on the tail, and he gives a mighty roar. That is so awesome. This is a huge Indominus Rex figure. And here we go, another giant T-Rex. This is so cool. This one is an orange T-Rex too. And look at all that different coloring. It's like darker on the top, and then it gets to a brighter orange here, and then its belly is even brighter too. Super neat. And our last few dinosaurs on this level, we've got a Stegosaurus right here. We've got another model Spinosaurus. Look at those eyes. It's looking for food to eat right now. And finally, another awesome Ankylosaurus with all that armor and then the action button to swing its tail. That is so awesome. And moving down to our final level, these are more giant dinosaur figures. I believe this is the Apatosaurus. And look, you can even open and close its mouth too. This is a huge dinosaur. But the one I like even more than this, custom colored giant Tyrannosaurus Rex. Just like that smaller one we saw, this one looks kind of like it's on fire, really. And it's just so huge, you can open and close its mouth. And you can actually fit miniature dinosaurs down its throat to its stomach compartment down here. That is so awesome. And we've got even more larger figures. Here is a giant T-Rex that is orange. And beside it, 
we've got Velociraptor Blue, giant form. And just like the others, can fit some mini dinos all the way down its throat into its stomach, which is super cool. And look at those claws again. Those are huge. And right beside it, we've got another uniquely colored Tyrannosaurus Rex. Look at this one. This is like a bright blue, kind of like a grayish white color. This is so cool and so different from the other figures that I have. And just like my other giant figures, this dinosaur has a throat that you can feed miniature dinosaurs and it goes all the way down its throat into the stomach compartment where you can get them out. It is so cool. All right, here are the final huge dinosaurs. I've got two matching Brachiosauruses. These things are both, I don't know, probably like two or three feet high and they're super detailed. Look at that skin. Look at their eyes and their teeth and even inside their mouth. And last, but certainly not least, the great Tyrannosaurus Rex with battle damage. Look at this. I love this one because of all the battle damage that it has and just like all the detail. This one's mostly green, so I think that this one would blend into the jungle more. And it is just so cool and so massive. I love this one. Want to see more dino videos? Click the subscribe button now.